Good morning, everybody. Bob here. Today I have four, not one, but four really good stories for you. They're called fairy tales and they're very, 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 very popular. You might have even heard them before. And they're all inside this book called Favorite Fairy Tales. Our last story is a very famous fairy tale like the other three were. And yes, it's about a young lady, and her name is Snow White, and the story's called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now, a dwarf is a little wee, tiny, tiny creature that looks like a person, but I don't know. They got some weird looking hair and noses and stuff, but let's find out if there's any problems in this story with Snow White. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. One day, a little princess was born in the palace. Her skin was as white as snow, her hair as black as a raven's wing, and her lips were as red as blood. So her parents, the king and the queen, called her Snow White. Snow White was a beautiful, beautiful, happy little child, but one day, a wicked, wicked stepmother came to live with her too. So what happened to the baby or Snow White's mother, the queen? I guess she died because a stepmother came to live there too. Remember, she had black hair like a, a raven's wing red lips like blood and white white skin she was very very beautiful but a stepmother came just like in that other story the wicked stepmother cared for nothing except her magic mirror and she looked at herself in the mirror every day and thought I am the most beautiful person in the world said the wicked stepmother well Snow White well, she was being ignored by her new stepmother and wasn't very happy. And she got very, very sad and very, very lonely. So one day, the magic mirror started to say something to the wicked stepmother. As the wicked stepmother was looking at herself and admiring her beautiful face in the mirror, the mirror said, well, you think you're beautiful? Yeah, but not as beautiful as Snow White. She's the fairest of them all. What? Said the wicked stepmother. My stepchild is more beautiful than me? The wicked stepmother was furious. So she took Snow White and she banished her in the forest which means she put her in the forest and said, never come back to the palace. We never want to see you again here at the palace. So Snow White was sad and afraid. She didn't know what to do. No one was at home, but the front door was open when she saw a little house in the forest. Should she go in? Hmm. So she did. And inside this little tiny, tiny house in the forest, Snow White found seven beds. Not one, not three, but seven beds. So she got into one of them and went fast asleep. So here she is in the forest, banished by her stepmother. She's found a little house and she's in there sleeping in one of the seven beds. Well, as the sun went down, the seven dwarfs who lived in that little house came marching home. They were whistling while they were on their way home. And there, in their little house, in one of their beds, was a strange but very beautiful young lady with black hair, red lips, and white skin. They woke her up. They said, hey, hey, what are you doing here? And Snow White said, well, my wicked, wicked stepmother banished me into the forest 
and I have nowhere to go. So they said, well, you can stay with us. We'll take care of you. Hmm. Would that be a problem? I don't know. When the wicked stepmother heard that Snow White was still alive, she decided she was going to kill her. Uh-oh. That would be a problem. So, she put on a disguise, dressed up like an old lady, got an apple, and went into the forest. She knocked on the window of the dwarf's little house, and Snow White opened it. How can I help you, she said to the old woman. Well, I've brought you a juicy, juicy apple from your father. You did? Hmm, should I take it, thought Snow White. I don't know this old lady, but she has an apple, a juicy, juicy apple from my father. Little did she know, though, that this was really the wicked stepmother and the apple was full of poison. She took it. She took a bite too. And she got really, really sick. I wonder what's going to happen because that is a problem. Well, the seven dwarfs were so upset. They cried and cried and cried and cried all day and all night for seven nights and seven days. And then they had Snow White in a beautiful glass case. They were trying to protect her. And along came a prince with a crown on his head. And he looked at Snow White and he looked at the seven dwarfs and he said, what's wrong with that beautiful young lady? Well, we don't know. She took a bite of an apple. An old lady gave her an apple. And then she got very sick and she fell asleep and is still asleep. Well, said the prince, maybe I should give her a kiss. That might help. So they opened the case and the prince gave Snow White a kiss. Well, back in the palace, the mirror, the magic mirror that the wicked stepmother looked in every day said to the wicked stepmother, She's still alive. She's in the forest. And she's still the most beautiful, beautiful woman in the world. Not you. Well, the stick, wicked stepmother, she became very, very angry. And she smashed the mirror. And it broke into a million pieces. When the mirror broke, the wicked stepmother vanished, disappeared, gone forever too. Wow. Well, as for Snow White, she was so happy to wake up again and not feel sick that she married the prince who gave her that kiss. He saved her and they lived in the palace happily ever after. And the seven dwarfs came too. The end. Well, were there problems in that story? Oh, you bet. I think the biggest problem was when Snow White took the apple from the strange old lady and took a bite. Remember, it was poisonous. But there were other problems too. But that was the biggest one. Thank heavens the young prince came along and gave her that kiss. So I hope you like that story and the other three. Just before I sign off and say I'll see you next time, just remember Cinderella, she went to the dance. Mm -hmm. Goldilocks, she went in the house and slept in the little bear's bed. Little Red, she went to Granny's house by herself through the forest and stopped to talk to a wolf. And Snow White, well, she was banished by her stepmother. That means told to go into the forest and never come back. But she was lucky. The dwarfs found her and they protected her and helped her until the prince came along. 
four stories all about four different young ladies and they all had happy endings. Fairy tales, famous, favorite fairy tales. Until next time. Oh, by the way, watch out for those problems when you listen or hear or read a story. See if you can figure out what the problem is and how the problem was solved.